If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Unlike many other Microsoft applications, there are three different areas in which you perform tasks in the Access interface. The first area to discuss is the Application window, which is the outer frame of the program that contains the ribbon. The Application window also contains the Quick Access Toolbar and the Status Bar, which appears at the bottom of the Application window. After you open a database file, you will then see the Navigation pane appear at the left side of the Application window, which displays all the database objects. If you created a blank database, then the navigation pane will not show any objects other than the new blank table that appears by default after you create a new blank database in Access. You can change the way the navigation pane organizes and displays its database objects. However, that will be covered in a separate lesson. For now, it is enough to understand what this object is called and what its purpose is within the program. When you then open or design one of these database objects from the navigation pane, it appears to the right in the tabbed documents area where you create, display, and edit the database objects in their own separate tabbed windows. The object's name appears within its respective tab. The type of object is indicated by the small icon next to the name of the object in the tab. You can click the tabs of the objects that you have opened to display their content. To close any currently displayed tabbed window, click the small X at the right end of the tab to close. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.